Well, let's talk about some health matters now. Doctors are two and a half times more likely to commit suicide than the general population. Well, that's according to the South African Society of Psychiatrists. Suicides of prominent medical professionals and university students in the past few months have put the spotlight on mental wellness. Well, in our health slot today, we're joined by Professor Barnard Janssen van Rensburg. He's the president of the South African Society of Psychiatrists. Prof, good morning. Good morning. And thanks for your time this morning. So let's mm. talk about, when we talk about doctors, yeah. are we talking about doctors? Doctors where? Doctors in hospitals, your GPs, who are these people we're talking about? I think uh, doctors generally, I would say, doctors in state sector, doctors in private sector, not only in this country, unfortunately we don't have the stats specifically mm -hmm. for our country. And so trans translating uh, the type of themes and type of proportions from elsewhere, we think that it's fairly similar. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you've said, the risks are significantly higher and, why? and prominent. Why though? Why, yeah. why, why, why are we seeing these numbers in the medical profession? Uh, oh, the why factors, I, I would say many, many layers, many overlays, mm -hmm. and some of them start with how we are being trained, how our trainers have been trained perhaps, um, and then how we expect uh, a, a standard or a way of work from ourselves and our uh, junior colleagues perhaps. Um, we also have another layer of just the work environment. Um, sometimes resources are a part of that challenge. Um, I would say, thinking of a private sector situation, uh, my view is that one can easily, much more easily be uh, become isolated when working in a private mm. practice and being rushed and uh, you know without a is team it, context. Is it the stress of the work? Is it the not having time to actually have some time for yourself? Because you would imagine and people would say surely doctors of all people would be mm. more aware mm. that they need to get help when they need to get yes. help. Is it not having the time yeah. to get that help even though they are aware or not realizing mm. that they need and the nature of the work? I, I would say all of those yeah. um, that uh, the, the loads, the, the the, the case load uh, may be part of that answer uh, in the sense that um, numbers can just continue and just uh, uh, keep picking up. Mm. Uh, at the same time, uh, if one is not aware of your own um, needs and uh, level of functioning, one uh, that's where the burn-up scenario can creep up on one yeah. and uh, really don't realize it until the, the uh, danger um, signs may be there already. Is it also that, uh, you know, of the stigma attached to, to, mm. to mental uh, mm. illness that them being medical professionals mm. themselves, is there a reluctance for them to admit that something is wrong and admit yeah. to a colleague or for people yeah. in the profession to yeah. know that they're just not 100%? I would most definitely say yeah. yes, uh, there's no doubt. Um, we have stigma on different levels, just generally in terms of mental health, but we may even talk about a professional level of stigma uh, as a, a matter of self-stigmatization in a way mm. as well. And um, because this uh, may have to lead to reaching out for some help and some assistance, perhaps some treatment, it does bring uh, the other part of the process in the picture that you may have to be reported to the uh, Health Professional Council, yeah. not in a punitive way, but there's a health committee that oversees uh, perhaps uh, medical practitioners and other health practitioners who may uh, be in, 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 in mm, a space mm. of need and, and rehabilitation and so forth. And I suppose it's because of questions, like the next one I'm going to ask you, is then how does this impact on the safety of patients, yeah. which is also reason that they may not want yeah. to admit that something Most is definitely, mm. and therefore groups like ourselves, as you say, the psychiatry uh, group, Society of Psychiatrists, as well as the South African Medical Association, has really uh, taken it seriously to try and engage with this matter, to open discussion uh, on, on ways forward of um, making a peer support group available or looking and li looking into matters and um, uh, in ways in in how uh, members of these societies could um, be supported and um, easily referred mm. and um, prevention and promotion rather than um, letting things develop until uh, a bit of a crisis So situation. we do it for patients who come to the hospital. We have the wellness, yes. we have the, the yeah. sort of uh, say, uh, yeah. measures there in place. What do we have for doctors? And I mean, you speak not? about this, yeah, and why not? <laughs> for, why don't we have For doctors, yeah. exactly. So I think, uh, again, looking back on the many cases, that's 
actually been in the media over the past months. Uh, the prominent uh, mm. suicide reports that we had, even of uh, students, health sciences students mm. on uh, different uh, institutions that we know of. Uh, it's, it's really time that uh, we engage with this, uh, all of the stakeholders, employers, um, universities, professional societies, um, and individual mm. practitioners that, that we that we start um, yeah. being part of, of the process and the discussion. Yeah, it is becoming a matter of urgency. Yeah. Thank you very much for Thank that you. insight that Professor Bernard, uh, Bernard Janssen van Rensburg